mess with people's property and they get pokey. Let's say the state needed to build a highway and took part of your backyard. You might not be able to stop it, but you'd at least get paid. How about what's underneath your property? Here's politics guy Marshall Zellinger. Even through the low clouds, you can see DIA from it. You can see Gaylord. But what you can't see from this property in Aurora is what's underneath it. In conjunction with the surface of the property, we've also owned the mineral rights since basically statehood. William Windler's family has owned the land in eastern Aurora for 140 years, and that includes the rights to the minerals beneath it, which means if an oil and gas company wants to extract it, but the city, county, or state doesn't allow it, he's missing out on money, and the government does not owe him a thing. I don't think that it's unreasonable for any citizen to request payment from a government when they deny or take your property away or do not allow you to use your property. This is my probably fourth or fifth time that I have stood for uh, mineral right owners and property right owners. Republican State Representative Perry Buck is also a mineral rights owner in Weld County, where a conservative county commission is not getting in the way of oil and gas development. Once again today, she tried and failed to get lawmakers to agree that if local government gets in the way of someone making money from their mineral rights, the local government should pay them and the oil and gas company. It's a property right argument. If they're going to put a highway in your front yard, because they believe that highway is so important, we got to get that highway, and you're going to be compensated for them using your front yard. So this is no different. I asked Buck why include an oil and gas company in this bill, with the idea being maybe lawmakers could feel bad for a property owner, but not necessarily an oil and gas company. And Kyle, I learned it's not that clean that oil and gas companies uh, get into leases with property sure. owners ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And so there's already money that's exchanged hands, and then there's even more money once they start extracting. So you can't necessarily separate the two. So uh, this is an interesting idea to debate, but it's coming from a Republican, so it's just toast, right? Uh, we talked about it being dead on arrival, and it died today. Uh, the one thing, it didn't go to the kill committee. Mm -hmm. It actually went to the committee that should hear something like this. So that's, oh, the, that's appropri the appropriate committee. The appropriate committee. Okay. All right. And then died. All right. I like your sweater. Thank you. Thank you, sir.